All right, so today's video is actually on an interesting little fuse that I found. And uh, as you see from the title, it's a French fuse. Uh, there are no markings on it, at least on the outside of it. The only place that you could tell, if you don't know the model is, of this fuse, that it could be a French one. You probably won't see it anyway, even though I'm taking this off to show you. Try to focus in on it, but... If you could read the lettering on there. Upside down, you could read Paris. Focus. Anyways, that's the only place that actually has markings on this fuse. Uh, I found it online. There was no description of it, just a picture. Uh, so I bought it after looking it up. And as the title says, this is, and I'm going to probably butcher it pretty badly, but it's an Allumeur Attraction Model 1939, or basically a pull fuse uh, model of 1939. This is a fuse that was used on the um, bounding mine, I guess it would be 1939, or... Uh, Min Bondissante, 1939, or mod model 1939, and <clears throat> that is the French mine that was a, uh, I guess a reply or a, um, anyways, it was a um, mine to go up against the S mine that the Germans had, that the French had encountered. Um, this mine came with everything but the actual pin and safety here. I had to make it, I haven't finished it. It's still in a pretty bad condition, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to sort of uh, show you this fuse and how it worked before I finished it. So anyways, this fuse could be connected to the grenades and uh, a few other p pieces um, of explosive ordnance so that it could be used as a booby trap. You could screw it into something here if you wanted to. And so screw it onto a pig or something. Or if you stuck it on the actual mine itself, it would screw into the side. Uh, I'll show a picture of the mine with the fuse in it. I could also actually go on the game that I showed, the postscriptum game, and show you that too. Anyways, uh, how this mine works, uh, how this fuse works, is pretty simple actually. It's just like the German pull fuses, except this it has its own built-in safety on it, which is the ring that you see there. So, I'm going to remove the bottom of it because I don't want to damage the primer. And I'll put something on it like this here. Should be careful with it because it's... Anyways, <clears throat> this mine, not this fuse, you could install it and turn the top part of it any direction you want. So it does rotate 360 degrees on it. And right now, as you see, it's in the safe position. Nothing you could do to it to make it uh, fire. So what you would do is usually there's a string with this, but we're not going to worry about it. And the string would be tied to a smaller loop than this. So you've installed your mine. What you do next is you pull on the ring. Now it's out like this. Now your fuse is ready to fire. So, 
with this smaller spring in it, it's not such a big deal. But with it, with the other spring in there, it's actually quite uh, quite strong. All I'm going to do is once anyway because I don't want to damage this thing. So what happens is when someone comes along, they hit the trip wire and it fires your fuse. That's the metal washer. Underneath that is a uh, fabric, one of sorts. It's either made out of a felt or leather. And uh, I think it's mostly for waterproofing of the actual fuse. This is the uh, lighter spring that I decided to use just to show it and how this works is very simple this firing pin sits in here catches the fuse uh, catches the striker like that in here you have a big cut on this side and just a small hole on this side. Fuse has a bit of a curve on here to help with the release. It sits just in there. As it pulls out, it both releases, but it also releases from this side. So as it pulls down, it's able to actually rotate, which is what that cuts for which allows it to remove itself faster than if you were just trying to pull it out straight. So once it's released, move from here, it's able to slide in, tilt up, and release the striker faster, or better. As you see here, rotates. And obviously the striker, which it's itself is pretty See if I can get it to focus for you. Um, machined. Cut here, put a pin through it on this side. It was threaded. They screwed on this and they just stamped it. So they can't remove it. And that acts like the washer for the spring. As you can see, the spring here is much stronger than the one I just had on there. So that could actually set off the so it could actually set off the actual uh, primer. So that's the fuse. I'm happy I found this because you don't see many of these around. There's nothing on the internet that I saw about it, and uh, I'm just glad I was able to get a hold of it and make the part on it so that I could show how it worked. I would love to make a bottom part and put another primer in there. Just this is pretty messed up already here. And I don't want to damage this thing because like I said I have only seen one on the uh, LexPev site which is where I got a lot of my information from it. And uh, there's a German site too, but not very much else about it. You can see the mine too on some sites, but most of this is actually just not available. This has some of the paint still on it, a little bit flaked off when I got it, but anyways, that is the uh, Allumeur Attraction Model 1939. The French obviously used it till they were out of the war in 40, I guess it would be. So there's not that many compared to the German fuses. Also, the Germans, once the French were out, um, all the captured ones of these, they call the ZZ501F, or uh, Zugzunder, I think it is. Once again, I butcher every language I speak, including the English one, so don't count on my pronunciation to be right. <coughs> Anyways, those are the parts. That's the fuse and found it pretty interesting little fuse and I'll just add a picture of the mine itself uh, which also is interesting I wish I had one it basically has a 60 millimeter mortar around a brand 
mortar without the tail and without the fuse on the top and in the bottom of it they put a delay so this fires ignites a charge in the little tube that this is connected to which blows the mortar out of the other part of the tube and uh, into the air I don't remember if it's t between 20 inches and 5 feet the mine explodes well the mortar round explodes and pretty much uh, messes up a lot of people around it obviously because having a 60 millimeter mortar explode next to you is not uh, probably very pleasant anyways I'll show the picture of it and then I'll just show the uh, a uh, little bit of a game that shows the mine in it and you can see the fuse up close in that it's tough to, tough to see in the pictures but <clears throat> anyways hope you enjoyed this hope uh, you learned something new like me and uh, hopefully I'll fix this thing up to make it nicer because I damaged it when I was trying to install the uh, the pin through here anyways thanks again and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section Alright, so uh, here is the mine I was talking about. Min Bondissant, Model 1939. And as you see, the fuse that's in there is the same one as I was showing. So I'm just going to grab something to point out how this thing works. So, something with a. Uh, As you see here, it's, as you saw from the pictures, this fuse, it's supposed to be pulled over and made ready to fire. Then when you pull on that, it fires the primer that's at the bottom here. Flame goes down the tube and then around this area here you have a black powder charge that is set off, burns through here, pushes up on the, the mortar round that's in this tube. This is a 60 millimeter tube, 60.3 I think they called it, but anyways. And that charge blasts the mortar round up, which as the blast happens, it ignites a delay in the mortar, which burns through and explodes. And that's basically how simple this is. Um, there's another fuse that could fit in here, that's why it's got that weird looking cup on here. There's another type of threading and it's for a uh, double action fuse, so you could step on it or you could actually do the same thing, a pull fuse. Um, <clears throat> the Americans copied that mine for their uh, M240, M2A1 then, if I'm not mistaken. And if you look, it's got the same sort of setup for it, but yes, they copied the idea for that. Unfortunately, this game doesn't uh, animate the switch on the fuse, and it has no cutout for where it's supposed to be the uh, on this thing. But they basically, and unfortunately, they also don't do the bounding part of this whole thing. You see, it gives you a choice where to place it, and you won't actually see it once it's in the ground there. And as soon as you walk over and this game explodes. So I'll do that and that's pretty much the end of the video. Hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, if you have any questions as I said before, just uh, leave them in the comments.